You. Uh, me. Yes. Who else would I be talking to? Uh, no one else, I guess. Who are you? I am Prince Lux Lumina Demonus. I am the Prince of the Nether. Huh. And who am I? You're the one who left the signs on the side of the message board. Oh, yes. I suppose I shall take them down. I no longer require assistance on construction of the palace. Hmm. I thought it was pretty clever, honestly. Uh, everyone else seems to be avoiding the sides, even though the message board has overflowed significantly. I think it should be quite obvious that this is also space to put signs on. And they are bright blue. Therefore, nobody can miss them. Unless they hop the wall. That's happened a lot, actually. It's people hop the wall and they don't even notice there's a message board. Uh, sorry, I think you asked who I was. I'm Moth. Pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you, What too. is your title? I... Community organizer? Very well. A community organizer, that would be useful. Have you heard the rumors of the new kingdom sprouting up in this fair world, I suppose? Uh, is that what's the deal with the build happening up over there? Oh, yes, that shall be my castle. After all, I'm a prince. Right, prince of the nether. Yes, and I shall also be prince of the overworld. And this land, a haven, I believe it is called? Mm-hmm. I didn't know the nether had royalty. Of course we have royalty, we have kingdoms, we have monarchies. It's a whole thing. Uh-huh, well... What's that like? You wish to know more about the Nether? Yeah. Oh, well, I would be glad to inform you about it. The kingdoms of the Nether are... They are there are many. My kingdom roughly translates from Infernal to Kingdom of the Light. We, well, our kingdom is ruled by, officially it's ruled by my father, however, I have taken over his duties since he's not quite fit to rule at the moment. So, is there anything, uh, is there anything else about the kingdoms that you wish to know? Because I have told you a little bit about my kingdom, but, well, not enough about yours. Or, well, not yours, I mean, I mean others. <laughs> yeah, I'm not from a kingdom. Right. Sorry, I, my brain is kind of scrambled right now for no particular reason. I know how that feels. Uh... Regardless, is there anything you would like to know about the Nether? I am quite knowledgeable in it. I mean, I know very, very little about the nether, so... Are you aware of, it, of at least its climate? Uh, it's hot. Yes, that is correct. It is very hot there. Would you like to see a little bit of it? Uh... How? Unfortunately, the nether is... unreachable at the moment. Me and others are trying to figure out a way to get into the nether. However, it is a bit of a, um, a difficult endeav endeavor at the moment. However, I have spawned in a nether portal. It is non-functioning and it's, well, it's non-functioning. However, there are bits of the nether poking through. Oh, Therefore, okay. it might be good to show you. After all, you have this lovely tree farm. I believe you might be interested in some netherborn trees. I would love some netherborn trees. They are different than the trees grown here, I believe. I picked up some saplings. They appeared to be little tiny trees. Is that how they grow? Yeah. 
it's not quite the same for nether trees. How is it for nether See, trees? There are two biomes currently capable of growing nether trees. There are two types. There's the crimson forests and the warped forests. Crimson forests have crimson trees and warped forests have warped trees, to the surprise of uh, nobody. <laughs> I personally prefer crimson. After all, red is our kingdom's color and it is just vastly superior. Yeah, I see your, your little red cape. Oh, yes, of course. It is a royal cape. It's very nice. I believe it was gifted to me by father about two years ago, I believe. Perish in flames. Now, welcome to this place. I believe is called the Badlands. It's very, uh, orange. Yes. It's the closest thing I could find to the nether. Also, I did spawn here, so clearly there's some merit to it. Now, we are about to see the nether trees. This is the area in which I spawned. I've done a little bit of refurbishing with some gardening. They, they kind of almost glow, huh? A little bit, yes. They carry just a tiny bit of lava through their veins. After all, they need to feed from something. And they feed on lava? Well, I believe much like normal trees here in the overworld, require water. Do they not? I guess. Now, like I said, the trees in the nether do not grow the same way that the trees in the overworld do. Not with tiny little mini trees that grow into big trees. Alright, how do they um, grow? Allow me quickly to get something from my inventory. Where is this? That is. Oh, clever. Yes, nobody can get me down here. Except August. After all. Well, yes, but research at August is permitted. Alright. Wait, can you- can you grow overworld trees in the nether? I- I've never seen them. Therefore, I don't know. That is all. Hmm. There we go. If you feed the soil with enough bone meal, eventually... ...you will grow a mushroom. Okay. This is a warped fungus. It deters and repels all forms of piglin and hoglin material. You can shut up with your puns. Anyways, feed it enough bone meal and it will eventually grow into a tree. Okay. The wood collected from crimson is, it... is red and the one from warped is blue, which makes it far superior to any other trees. Is it technically a fungus then? E yes, technically, nether trees are, well, they're better trees. They're fungi tree. I'm not, I'm not a botanist. I don't classify this. <laughs> Regardless, you are free to take as many as you want. They grow freely on this, um, term, nylium. Nylium. 
feed it enough bone meal and it will eventually yield in well mushrooms oh do be careful i do not believe your skin is hard enough to stand on magma blocks too sensitive yeah, i, I didn't suppose see it there. Ah. There we are. They do grow lovely vines. That's pretty fun. Quite. Do the blue ones not have vines? Oh, they do, but they do not... Warped vines do not grow from the tops of the trees. They grow from the bottoms, and at the current moment, I don't know how to acquire them. Hmm. It's not skin hardness, it's sensitivity. <laughs> what? Are you no, laughing it's... at me? Uh, it's just... It looks funny when you're on fire. It also looks funny when August is on fire, to be clear. There is nothing funny about me being on fire. That is a natural phenomenon. I, I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm just not used to it. Mm, quite. If you've never been to the nether, then you've never, well, experienced things being... Well, you have fire here, right? Yes. Yes. But we don't really have people who just can withstand it. Well, that's a shame. How awful it is to live in a world where you cannot just bathe in lava whenever you want. I, I truly <laughs> pity your world. I mean, I guess I don't know what I'm missing. You don't. You should develop a uh, better skin in order to withstand the heat. You overworld types are so sensitive <laughs> to the heat. I'll take it. I'll take it into consideration. Yes, you should. Uh. So that, that castle back at the spawn village, that's going to be yours. Oh, yes, without a doubt. I've been wondering what that was for. Why wouldn't it be for me? I'm the prince of the nether, therefore I should be prince of the ha of the haven as well. I mean... It only makes sense, does it not, organizer? What... So, so you're saying that your qualification for ruling here is that you were ruling somewhere else? I don't even know how good a ruler you were. I was a perfectly fine ruler. Everybody in my land respected and loved me. I mean, perfectly fine isn't exactly, you know... I mean, they loved me better than my father, so that's clearly... Who I also don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. Who I also don't know anything about. Oh. Yes, well, I don't suppose you would have. He fell ill several years ago, and I've been on the throne for those years. As is my rightful duty as the heir to the throne. Okay. So, what are you planning to do as ruler? A rule? Okay. I'm going to oversee the kingdom and its residents, and of course lead them into, well, whatever battle that we may eventually get ourselves into. Oh boy. The state of a monarchy is never without its spoils of war. 
It would be foolish to assume that people would simply sit back and relax against a government that they would not want. There's always somebody who says, you're a tyrant, you're an unjust ruler, everything that you're doing is bad and wrong, and I'm going to rise up in a rebellion. Like, grow up already and go die in a ditch somewhere. Jeez. Have people been saying of those people. this about you? Yes, and I've sentenced, sentenced them to death every time. Okay. And and you plan to keep doing that here? Well, nobody can permanently die here, so it'll be a lesson worth keeping. Okay. Are you doubting my rulership abilities, organizer? I would never do that in front of you. Good choice. I don't think they should do that. I yes, you've made it clear that you don't that you don't think they should do that. I Oh, you can hear them too. Uh I thought you were talking about your subjects that objected to you. Well, yes, of course. However, there's no subjects that objected to me here because this is the overworld. Uh, well, what did your nether subjects have to say, like, more specifically? I told you, they either loved me or decided to, to plan a rebellion, thinking that I'm okay, but not fit to be ruler. The, the rebels, did they have any, like, specific complaints? Well, I just said them, didn't I? You have very faulty ears if you can't even discern you what I'm saying. You that they said that you were a ruler, a, a ruler, a tyrant and weren't fit to rule. Which is pretty vague, honestly. Like, there's a lot of space in there. Yes, they weren't exactly concrete about their plans. They just keep telling us, just awful things, saying that I'm a bad ruler, that I'm a tyrant, that I'm following in the footsteps of my father. I'm not. I'm much better than father ever was and ever will be. I've been ruling my kingdom perfectly fine without him. Therefore, I see no right that any of these foolish citizens should ever complain. So they never, they never like gave you specifics. They never told you, "Hey, you should." Not any that I paid attention to. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. <sighs> what did they have to say about your father? Maybe. Oh, they hated him. What did they hate him for? Being a tyrant, being an unjust ruler. However, I'm doing much better than him. Okay. Uh, Lux. Yes. What and is a tyrant? Lux to you. A tyrant is somebody who rules through fear. I do not rule through fear. People love me. Uh, you do execute people. Only those that are, you know on the receiving end of my wrath. Uh, do you see how people might fear your wrath? No. They respect my authority and know that when I'm angry, they are not to question me. Piss off! We're having a discussion here. So rude. And what's an unjust ruler? An unjust ruler is somebody who is unfit for the throne. And what would make someone unfit for the throne? 
um, somebody who is not liked as a ruler and somebody who is bad at ruling and other things like that. I mean, this all seems kind of tautological to me. That's as well. Uh, it kind of sounds like you're saying people don't like you because they think you're a tyrant, and they think you're a tyrant because they don't like you. Well, I'm not a tyrant. Alright, you're not a tyrant. I'm not. Okay, End of I discussion. Feel, I feel like I have gained no information here. Uh, I have given you so much information. You've rejected it all. <sighs> have you ever wronged someone? Uh, have I? Define wronging someone. Okay, okay. Uh, let's try, let's try. What actions could you take that would make you more of a tyrant? Killing people for fun. Right, killing people for fun. I'm assuming you don't Which do Which I do that. not do. Killing is not fun for me. What other things do tyrants do? Um. Hate the citizens. And I, I am assuming you love and respect or whatever your citizens. Well, yes, I cherish them. They're my citizens, of course. How could I be a king without citizens? Not well, prince, I suppose. I am still legally a prince. Uh, and anything else? Is it just murder and hatred? Or being disliked by the general populace. Hey Lux, hey Lux, have you ever considered that if people are scared to let their feelings be known about something, then however many of them are letting their feelings be known about something, you can assume that there are more of them that just aren't saying so. If they had a problem with me, they would actually take it up with me. Not if they were not going sure to they get wouldn't. killed about it. I'm not going to kill them just for voicing an opinion, only if it's wrong. Lux, you can't kill people for having incorrect opinions. I'm the prince, I can do whatever I want. There's... <laughs> Shut up. I... <laughs> okay, so... Are you defining wrong as incorrect or inconvenient? Incorrect. And what if it turns out that you are incorrect? I'm never incorrect. What if someone lied to you and you acted on the incorrect information that they gave you? Then I would seek to find the truth of the matter. But you would have been incorrect and acted on incorrect information. Well, what's in the past is in the past. 
I mean, pretty much everything is in the past that's, you know, as long as it's happened. It's all past and future. Oh, congratulations on understanding the flow of time. <laughs> Forgiveness only for me, correct. Right, because you're a prince. Yes! So, uh... I don't see the point of this discussion. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious. Who, uh... So, who, who all have you met on Haven so far? Uh, quite a lot of people. I have met um, my archivist, my advisor, um, some uh, uh, researcher, sorry, sorry. August. And... Who are your archivist and your advisor? Uh, I don't remember the names. I'm like, uh, the one that is uh, voided and spacey and, and sparkly and... Aster? I believe so. And at the current moment, you are not privy to information as to who my advisor is. Why not? We are not friends. Why should I divulge the information to you? Oh, but you told me who your archivist is. Yes, because that doesn't matter. I give everybody titles and nicknames. Because you don't want but to the advisor their is simply names. too close. I'm sorry? Because you can't be bothered to remember their real names. Hey Lux, what's I my name? I remember their real name. I know who my advisor is. Hey Lux, what's my name? Well, you are the organizer. What's my name? Um... Purple? What's my name, Lux? You know I can still see you, right? No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to deal with your issues. It does not require a bucket chat. Look what I have. Well, do you have? What is that? No! What did you just do? What have you just done? I placed water. I don't want to fight. Oh, yes, you don't want to fight, yet you destroyed, like, part of my home. Look what you've done! Fix this now! I... I... I can kind of fix it. Oh, can you? I can't... Fix it.
I can't bring more lava. This this is gonna take take a bit. Um Yes? Sorry, it just kind of seemed like you were about to shoot me. I'm reading an arrow if you ever decide to do that again. I want to... If I ever decide to do it again, it will be for a reason and I will warn you first and give you a chance to stop me. That's what I'll promise. And I will. I still have the power to shoot you, you know. You've upset me personally. I know. I'm only not doing it because you are the only way I have to actually undo this mess. Do you not have a pickaxe? No, why would I have a pickaxe? That's for miners. Uh, right, because you're a prince and you wouldn't imagine of doing labor. Yes, of course not. Why won't you tell me your advisor's name? I don't want to. Did you ever figure out my name? Well, according to your, um, the tag that is currently and constantly floating above your name. It is a moth with knives. That's me. You've completely ruined this. I... I'm sorry. I... You should be. I would bring more lava if I could. Suppose I shall just... Well... It is not better in any sense of the word. Organizer, what is dripstone? I... It's... Stone that's kind of pointy, it drips. An apt description, I'm sure. I mean, that's why they call it dripstone. I should have had someone put efficiency on this pick. What's even on here? Just mending. Okay. Well, as long as it mends itself by the end of the day, you should be fine. One of the Soul Sand spirits that seem to be quite fond of you has suggested something called Dripstone to replicate the lava. Are you aware of this technique? I... 
Sort of. I can't use it myself. Oops. Why not? It... I can't handle iron. Oh. An allergy. You could call it that. That's all of it, I think. Suppose that will do for now. I shall fix this later. I'll get somebody else to fix this. I kinda... And get out of my sight before I shoot you. Hang on. I think that was there. Which way? That way. All right. You really think people are going to want you as a prince? I don't suppose they have any other choice. Oh, they always have the choice of rebellion. Oh, well, yes. And it's not like I've had, I haven't had my fair share of rebellions before. I know how to deal with them. Do you know how to deal with them when they won't die? Kill them again. I'm pretty sure there are more people who are going to be against you than who are going to be on your side. What a threat. Mm, just an observation. I, I don't think people take too kindly to being told that they have to obey someone that they have no reason to trust. I'm a prince. They should at least respect my authority. That should be enough. It's not enough. It won't be enough. Uh, do you want to know why? Entertain me. Because most people here aren't from monarchies. They didn't grow up respecting royalty because they didn't have royalty. So when you say you're a prince, that doesn't mean anything to them. You have to show them by your actions that you're worth respecting. I see. I suppose I shall just make them understand. I don't feel like I've gotten my point across, but you are still pointing that crossbow at me. Your point? I mean, it's your point. You're the one pointing the crossbow. Yes. You have to earn people's respect. And I will. Cool. Earn mine. What are you going to do to keep people safe here? I will protect them. I will guide them. Protect them how? See, Lux, we've been talking for a bit now. And I don't think yes, you've and given it's getting me... quite long-winded. I don't think you've given me one concrete answer this whole time. It's been all vague and circumspect and av avoiding. And there's a skeleton behind you, by the way. It's gone. All right. Uh, and that makes me think that you're all talk and no action, and you're going to expect people's respect in exchange for doing a whole lot of nothing. 
and possibly killing them if they point this out. I'm capable of killing them. Should that not be enough respect? I'm capable of killing you. Do you respect me? Absolutely not. I've, I've, I've done enough today. I'm not going to kill you to prove my point, but I could. I could kill you. And I could kill you. So we should respect each other, shouldn't we? I suppose. I've seen your skill with a bow. It's actually something to respect. Thank you. But that's not what I meant. People, You're just saying... People respect me. just we stay out of each other's way. People respect me. People respect me because I do things for them. Because I made that tree farm. Because I made the wheat farm in the village. Because I made sure that there were villagers to trade with. Because I've been expanding the highway. Because I put the roof over there so that people like you and Amber can use the highway without getting wet. Because I've been putting the effort in. Because I look at people and I go, okay, what can I do to help them? What can I do that will make them happier, make them safer? And then I do it. And I don't just go, oh, it'll make them happy just to know me because that's stupid. It's stupid. My role has not yet been fulfilled or started. Worry not, I will show them that I am worthy of respect. Well, I think you've got a long way to go. I suppose so. But eventually I will. And perhaps I will earn even yours. Good luck. <sighs> Who does that guy think he is? Oh, I'm the Prince of the Nether. Everyone should respect me and I'll just kill them if they don't. Who? What? I, I mean, I'm not the only one who thinks that's absurd, right? Uh. Yeah, what a guy. Aristocrats, yeah. I mean, if, honestly, I shouldn't have even told him anything. I should have just let him... Oh, a spider. I will just get out of your way, sir. I should have just let him sh keep shooting himself in the foot. been trying not to make enemies, but I, I guess... I mean, I, I hope he doesn't consider me an enemy. That would be inconvenient. I'd rather consider him an enemy first. <sighs> Who's advising that guy? Who's... Who's advising him? Okay. Two options here.
two options here. The advisor is hopelessly naive and genuinely believes in monarchy and buys what Lux is selling. Uh, second option, they're just fucking using him. Uh, honestly, honestly, I don't think anyone is both naive enough to buy what Lux is selling and smart enough to advise him. Or at least, I don't think anyone is both naive enough to buy what Lux is selling and smart enough to claim that they can advise him while buying what he's selling. Is it Jackdaw? Jackdaw sounds like the kind of person who would use some stupid brat prince. It can be a bad advisor. Yeah, but I don't, like I'm saying, I don't think anyone here is both naive enough to think that's, you know, a good thing to do and also willing to claim that they're good at it. Who knows? I'll have to ask around. I'll have to tell Navin <laughs> that I don't have a good pumpkin trade. 